partnering, what would be the single most valuable piece of advice you'd give us to even attempt to create some of the value that you guys have done in both your very impressive companies? People say you, you have to have a lot of passion for what you're doing, and it's totally true. And the reason is, uh, is because it's so hard that if you don't, any rational person would give up. It's really hard. And you have to do it over a sustained period of time. So if you don't love it, if you're not having fun doing it, and you don't really love it, uh, you're going to give up. And that's what happens to most people, actually. If you really look at, 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 at the ones that uh, ended up you know, being successful, unquote, in the eyes of society and the ones that didn't, oftentimes it, it's the ones that are successful loved what they did so they could persevere when, you know, when it got really tough. And, and the ones that, that didn't love it quit because they're sane. Right? Who would want to put up with this stuff if you don't love it? So it's a lot of hard work, and, and it's a lot of worrying constantly. And uh, um, if you don't love it, you're going to fail. So you've got to love it. You've got to have passion. I welcome to this uh, video, Dave, which is all about Forex trading basics, and, and a basic that most traders don't even consider when they come in to trade the Forex markets. And you know, they, they lose. And it's basically having a realistic trading plan for profit okay um and yeah most traders when they come in the markets do not have a long-term plan okay so i want to go through a long-term plan with realistic objectives also how to operate your plan in the short term and a daily routine for profit that will give you the maximum amount of profit in the least amount of time but i'll come back to that in a moment in terms of kicking off the video i started off with steve jobs and he's making a key point there about perseverance having a passion for what you do and you know any businessman um, who's successful will have tended to have made mistakes and have had to have persevered until they you know, obviously made money and, and Steve Jobs had his hard times and he actually said that you, you find that most so-called overnight successes were not overnight successes at all there was work and preparation involved in mistakes along the way now in terms of forex trading um, one of the big problems for newcomers when they come in the market is they just have completely unrealistic expectations of what they can make in terms of profit and you see yeah, many traders aiming for a hundred percent quickly or 200 percent or they want to make a thousand into twenty thousand in a short period of time um you know that is just not realistic so let me just give you a realistic number, okay? And I'm going to give you one of the most wonderful advantages of trading Forex. Now, in terms of traders I've taught, um, you know, they've all got varying um, you know, profits that they've made, but I've seen a lot of traders do just around 60%, okay? And that is a really, really good um, yeah, profit to make. It really is. But when I say it to a lot of new traders, they just look kind of disappointed like it's not enough. And I think this is where you have to think long term and think about one of the wonders of, of finance, really. It's compound growth. And if you actually think about compound growth and what you can achieve longer term, you can just see if you're patient how much money you can make. So let me give you an example. Let's say you had $10,000 and you compounded it at 58%, okay? In 10 years, how much money would you have? Well, you'd have $1 million. And what obviously happens with compound growth is, you know, money makes money. It's a snowball effect. So sure, you have to be patient when you begin, but once you get moving, obviously compounding really kicks in. You can do it with any starting amount you like and see how much you've got in you know, five years or ten years and the amounts are impressive. Um, now in terms of you know, compound growth, you know, once you start making more money, okay, great advantage of Forex is you don't have to spend any more money. You know, other businesses do. They have to increase overheads or take on more staff. More effort has to be made. That isn't true in Forex trading. You don't have to make any more effort trading a thousand dollar account and you do trading you know fifty or a hundred thousand you know the effort should be exactly the same so if you're patient and you you set a realistic target growth and i think it takes a few months in the market to work out what your target growth can be 
then you can see how much money you can make in forex trading and i'll stress it again in, in, in forex trading it is it, a serious business okay so you know you've got to have a plan you know when i write business plans i've got a few businesses okay or when i've written them in the past um they've normally been, been for three years forward minimum and i think that's where you've got to view forex trading you know, it's not something you're going to gain overnight success in or you know make yourself a millionaire you've got to be patient you know the gains are there to be made compound growth is just such a massive advantage. So I think you've got to set your annual target growth. And obviously I'm not going to talk about having a strategy in this video. I'm just talking about the, the planning side. You know, I'm assuming that you've got a strategy already um, with a trading edge that you're confident in. Okay. If you haven't, we've got plenty of videos on, on strategies you can look at. But what I want to do next is obviously we've got a long term plan okay where we work out how much we're going to make per annum but you've got to stay focused on it and basically you've got to make sure that you do not deviate from your plan now just before i discuss this and also the daily routine for profit which i think is highly effective um i just want to show a short clip of will smith there's something in this clip that he says i think is very very significant it's only about a minute long so just take a quick look at it look at it sorry and then i'll be back in a moment one summer his dad tore down a brick wall on the front of his business and told 12 year old will and his nine year old brother to rebuild it a job they said was impossible it took them a year and a half but they did it and he said now don't you ever tell me it's something that you can't do you don't try to build a wall. You don't set out to build a wall. You don't say, I'm going to big the, build the biggest, baddest, greatest wall that's ever been built. You don't start there. You say, I'm going to lay this brick yeah. as perfectly as a brick can be laid. Yeah. And you do that every single day. And soon you have a and wall. Soon you have a wall. So we'll come back up that short clip there of Will Smith, obviously reinforcing the idea of a long-term objective and having the perseverance to go for it. But I think the significant quote in there for Forex traders is, you lay each brick as perfectly as a brick could be laid. So you just focus on that brick. Now, why is that important in Forex trading? Well, I think most Forex traders have a problem with maintaining focus on their long-term objective if it's too far away. Now, I've just, you know, earlier on said about annual gains, I mentioned, you know, 60% aiming for that per annum. Yeah, I've seen traders do 100%, some do 30%. Doesn't matter what your objective is, but you need to break it down so it's closer. So what I would say is, let's say you're aiming for 100%, make that 25% in each quarter. Why is that important? Because it's a closer objective and will keep you more focused. Now let's say you make a lot of money in a short period of time, happens to us all at times suddenly find our accounts up by 10 percent plus now if you're not working to let's say a short-term objective of 25 percent in a quarter you might be tempted to try and speed up your gains by holding on too long or gearing up if you're aiming for 25 percent you would probably take it it only leaves you then 15 percent to make so you're getting closer to that objective it keeps you much more focused if you do that and i think you know traders do have a problem maintaining focus in forex trading over the long term without dropping their guard and i think that is a simple way of doing it just making that objective closer now in terms of actually executing your forex trading strategy i.e your plan daily i think you actually have to have a consistent daily routine it should be done at a specific time of day you should do it um, when you are relaxed where it's a quiet area you're in no distractions and i think the time period should be about half an hour to an hour depending on how many pairs you look at that's it um, now in terms of pairs i wanted to just go on to you know, how many pairs you should look at. I think the easiest way to increase your profit potential in Forex trading is to just look at more pairs. Um, you know, a lot of traders look at the yen, maybe the euro and the pound and 
Aussie dollar, that's it. Um, I would look at 20 pairs a day, minimum, probably 30 on most days. Now, that actually doesn't take very long. Okay, If you've got a simple strategy and you're confident in it, then basically you should be able to look at that chart and decide within seconds what you want to do with it. If you don't see anything to do with it, there's nothing to be done for you. Yeah, you know, a lot of traders want to think about it. You know, there's nothing to think about. You don't see anything on the chart, you move on to the next one. If you study a lot of pairs, then basically um, you're going to increase your profit potential. And I think if you look at Forex as a business, there's a rule that you also want to keep in mind, which is the 80-20 rule. 80-20 rule is used in business a lot, and quite simply, what it is is that 80% of your profits in business will probably come from 20% of your clients. Now, what this is teaching you in Forex trading is to concentrate only on high odd setups. Pass by any setups that do not really look good, okay? Because what you're doing, if you, you focus on the small amount of trades, okay? you will increase your profit potential. There is no correlation between how much you trade and how much you make in Forex trading. You can make triple digit annual gains. I've seen people doing it, trading you know, four to 10 times a month. And I've seen lots of traders do this. So don't focus on trading too much and forcing trades. Keep that business principle in mind, the 80-20 rule, the Pareto principle. Got another video on it, so if you want more details, you can look it up. Now, in terms of your daily routine, you know, I've said you should do it once a day. Should only really take you an hour max, that's it. The weekend, I would recommend another hour studying the weekly charts. And comparing them with the daily charts. So that's your daily routine. I don't think in the day there is any need whatsoever to look at prices. And I think you should avoid it because if you look at prices too often, it'll distract you from your plan. You should put most of your orders in in advance, okay? Not as impulse decisions. So, yeah, if you want to look at prices, yeah, maybe three times a day max would be my view. Just do not sit in front of a quote screen. It really will put you off and bring your emotions into trading. So I think, you know, if you've got an hour a day, then, you know, that is all you need to basically execute your trading plan. Now, what I would say is, yeah, Forex trading is, as I've said before, it's a boring lonely business and you need to stay motivated and I would recommend that at least each week you re read some motivational articles from the great traders or books on trading psychology just to keep you focused on your long-term objective. I think the more you read about the great traders the more you realize it is a game of perseverance, it is a game of discipline and many of the great traders had huge setbacks, many wiped themselves out a few times before they made consistent gains, and it just keeps you motivated. And I think you know, you've got to visualize forward, you know, what you'll have in a few years' time if you stick to your plan. Sure, Forex trading is boring, um, you know, but when you actually think about it, there is no other business um, that could probably offer you the fantastic rewards that Forex trading can give you in such a short space of time. Now, I'm a great believer in simplicity, as everyone knows, only a simple strategy is needed, but you do need that mental focus and that discipline and perseverance to carry on with your plan. Uh, and Steve Jobs actually said that, um, you know, probably half the difference with the entrepreneurs that make it and the ones that don't uh, is just the trait of perseverance. And actually talking about Steve Jobs, I really um, like like the guy. And, and, you know, I've read a lot about him. And, you know, he was just one of those guys that really focused on simplicity um, and, and sticking to his, his plan and basically stripping everything down and staying focused. I'm just going to finish off with a great quote from Steve Jobs. So thank you for watching me as per usual. Take care. Have a good day.